Hey everybody and uh, welcome back to the Blu-ray Hunter. I'm the Blu-ray Hunter, Jonathan Moody, and I've got a fun episode for you guys. We're going to do our top 10, well my, top 10 Blu-rays of October 2023. So let's kick it off. Uh, there, are, Once again, I mentioned this on my 4K one, that there will be no honorable mentions in this one. So just get ready. We're going to just go right into 10 and uh, talk about my uh, top Blu-rays that I'm excited about. Most anticipated, basically. Uh, my number one is, and, and this is in, in not order of like excitement or how, whatever. It is in order of, um, uh, what is it, uh, release order, uh, release date order. And on top of that. These are movies that I believe are not available on 4K. Like they won't be coming to 4K. So I did not pick one that's on 4K that I'm putting on uh, Blu-ray uh, for just Blu-ray. I think if there is ones or two, two like I, I didn't know that. All right. So number one is Night of the Demons 2. So in my 4K, I mentioned how excited I was about Night of the Demons being released. So I'm pretty sure that is the... Uh, original Night of the Demons and Night of the Demons 2 and 3 are coming to Scream Factor. So number two, I'm really excited about is my number one choice, and that's October 3rd. Uh, number My number two of my top 10 is Night of the Demons 3, which comes out on October 3rd as well from Scream Factory. So both of them come out the same day. So two and three, but they are separate movies. So you don't get it in like a multi-pack set or anything like that. Like you don't get all three of them together. You just get two and three, one, two, and three, one on 4K. I think also on Blu-ray, if unless it's already on Blu-ray through um, Scream Factory. And then Night of the Demons 3, uh, which, so one, two, and three um, for uh, Blu-ray. So number three of my most anticipated dun 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 is the Boogeyman, which it comes out on October 10th from Disney and Buena Vista. And this is probably one of my ones that's like lower on the list because I have not heard anybody say great things about the Boogeyman. I just would eventually probably get it. Uh A, because I do horror stuff for horror film lovers and I like to watch Movies that are like sort of newer if I can. And so, yeah. Uh, so there you go. Um, let's see. Number four is what is a Todd Browning set from Criterion. Um, it's October 17th. What was a big disappointment for me is the fact that uh, the Todd Browning set was not on 4k but is all on blu-ray and i was like why not upgrade it to 4k now i know criterion does this thing where they will put out the movie see how well it does and then if it does very well they'll put it out on 4k like time bandits and um you know uh, uh all the a bunch of the david lynch movies and stuff that are coming you know what i mean like they they see how well they do it on on blu-ray and then they're like okay well this does well because i don't know if everything that they put on for uh on blu-ray will ever just go to 4k i don't think so because the a lot of the ones that are on dvd haven't gone to blu-ray yet in itself so like some even laser discs and i think a lot of that has to do with rights too so we'll see um but yeah the todd browning set i'm excited about uh it's got freaks and a bunch of other movies um let's see uh the desperate hours also why do they release two from criterion on the same day why not that's weird so desperate hours for criterion comes out on october 17th as well and i'm really excited about that uh and uh i can't wait to see it but anyway my number six is dead girl um i actually know jenny spain who plays dead girl we chat all the time we're really close friends uh she's been on my radio shows and podcasts before you know she'll probably be on more whenever she gets time she's a very very busy person 
Uh, so I absolutely loved it, girl, and I, I want to own that on Blu-ray. Um, I would have loved it if they had put it on 4K, but, you know, beggars can't be choosers. I'm happy that it's out on 4K at all, or Blu-ray at all is coming from Unearthed, October 24th. So that should be fun. <laughs> all right. So let me explain something to you guys. Um, it was It was hard. to find Blu-rays that weren't already coming to 4K or something that I was interested in for the October. This, this has been sort of a weird month. Um, so I kind of took stuff that I was like, eh, you know, I don't know. But this movie, Liking Colony, that comes out from Visual Vengeance, Visual Vengeance, On what is it? Uh, October twenty fourth. Wolf. If you haven't seen Liking Colony, you need to watch it. It is a disaster piece. Like it is just so bad, but it's so much fun in the badness. We did it for Indie Film Cafe where we reviewed it. If it didn't get a thirty, it was close to a thirty. I think it got a thirty, which is we have a stinkometer on our uh, Indie Film Cafe podcast. We do one to ten, one being really good and ten being stinky and bad. And uh, we tally up the points. We have three people. So ten, ten, and ten would be thirty. And I think it got a thirty on the stingometer. Um, but it could be wrong. It could have gotten close to it. But I think it was the, if if it wasn't a thirty, it damn well got close because like maybe twenty nine and a half, because it was pretty damn bad. Um, the next one is Caddyshack. Or no, I'm sorry, not Caddyshack. What am I saying? I already own Caddyshack. Caddy Hack by Wild Eye. Uh, Wild Eye releasing. It is literally about a killer gopher on a uh golf course killing people. Very much in the vein of Caddyshack. That just sounds amazing. I can't wait to watch that. That comes out October 24th as well. Wow, look, all three of those movies come out the 24th. Um, and I don't know when these ones come out. I'm guessing they come out about the same time or on the 31st. So bear with me because there's two ones I did not put a release date on. Um, so Beast from Haunted Cave and Ski Troop Attack uh, double feature. I don't know if it's a double feature, if that was like just the name of... Beast from Haunted Cave, like another version with a different name. But that's coming from Film Masters. Never heard of them. And American Ninja is my last one. And that's coming from Kino Lorber. And uh, I own the DVD of it. So I would like to upgrade it to Blu ray at some point. Not necessarily now. We'll see. But not really that like excited, you know, or whatever. Um, for it, and that's whew, that's it. That's my ten most anticipated uh, Blu-rays for October. Once again, this wasn't this wasn't a uh, month that I'm like needing all of these things. And really, some of those things were hard to like find. Like I wanted to find, uh, I wanted to do honorable mentions, and just couldn't find enough. There just wasn't enough stuff that I was like that interested in. Uh, but if you go to Blu-ray.com, you can look up and see what is coming uh, ahead. So check that out. Um, maybe there's something in there that you'd like that I just had no interest in. Once again, telling you guys, tell me what you guys like and what you guys are excited about that maybe I didn't mention or I did mention and you guys are excited about it. Look, I'm wearing my cheesy Bride of the Monster shirt because, you know, why the heck not? It is, uh, you know, this is a movie that needs to get a Blu-ray, a good Blu-ray release. But unfortunately, right now, there's a rights issue up with everything. And I don't know. Um, it The the guy who owned the collection uh, passed away and he owned a bunch of Ed Wood stuff. So who knows that this will ever get a release date anytime soon. For Blu-ray. That would be cool. Wouldn't it be cool to have like a 
Ed Wood 4K pack of like Glenn or Glenda and Play in Nine. I would I would make those if I could. Like if I had the opportunity and the the knowledge and the money to do that, <laughs> I would love to. Like that would I think those would sell too. I guarantee you a 4K as long as you could really make it look good. You know, um, so maybe somebody like um, uh, Vinegar Syndrome could do that or something. Which, if you notice, I don't think I said anything from Vinegar Syndrome, so I don't know if things were getting released in October from them that I just had no interest in, or if I just, uh, I don't know, maybe nothing was getting released in October with them. I have no idea. Um, some stuff I'm sure I'll find out later. Oh, this also came out, or this is also coming out. We'll see. But right now, that is just my most anticipated for what I've seen and everything. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, give me a like. Also, comment. Uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And hit that bell notification to let me know when, you know, or like, well, to let you all know when more mo movies are coming, more videos. I am so fucking tired, and I've got like five more videos to record, so... We'll see how we'll see how the rest of the night goes. All right. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this uh, video and I will talk to you later. Bye.